Well, with Solid Edge um, 2019, um, there's some tools new in specifically in the sheet metal environment designed for cost where you can model a sheet metal part and kind of have a, a standard costing item towards a particular feature like a bend or a, uh, a, a punch, a cutout type situation or a cutout feature, I should say. So it'll keep track of that. There's new features called Solid Edge Requirements. You can tag kind of a, a requirement tracking along with your Solid Edge data through a, oh, it's hard to describe, I guess the Solid Edge Requirements is a, a place where you can add requirements right alongside your Solid Edge file in a tab. It's, it's integrated with Solid Edge. Also with Solid Edge 2019, there's the Solid Edge Portal where you can upload data. There's a viewer right inside of there. It, it doesn't have to just be Solid Edge data. It can be other formats. And there's viewing tools right there. So it's a nice collaboration tool. Um, another thing with Solid Edge 2019, it'll be a, there'll be a release, or there is a release of Solid Edge electrical tools, which include wiring design, if you're doing 2D wiring schematics, as well as a harness design tool. And inside of those tools, there's also connected mode where it'll connect back to your traditional 3D solid edge assembly for the mechanical design, uh, mechanical side of things. And then that allows you to transfer data back and forth between. The cool thing about that is it's, uh, it truly is connected, meaning if I'm in the 3D assembly inside of solid edge and I click a wire, highlight a wire in the assembly, it'll highlight that wire over in the solid edge electrical program within the schematic. And vice versa, if I click on that wire inside of the uh, schematic, it'll show where that wire is located inside the 3D assembly. 